few months ago, I decided to get myself a, uh, a Christmas present. Because why not? It's been a while since I've actually bought myself a toy. Um, and I actually wanted to make a video on it because so few people um, have made content on it. And a lot of people want to know how to tune it. So I decided to throw this in there to help anybody who's basically looking for, you know, a little information on it and how to set up the carburetor. So what we have here is, I believe it's probably like a 2022 Trailmaster 300. And this bike is flat out bad. I mean, it is awesome. Um, it's essentially a copycat of a 2009 KTM 350. And they put a uh, 300cc, um, pretty much a competition engine, because it's got like 32 horsepower, and it, it flat out rolls. I mean, if you're looking for an adrenaline rush, you are going to get one on this bike. Um, let's cover the basics first, just because I know a lot of people are going to come to this video strictly looking for the carburetor information. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that on to you. Um, I went online. This is the kit that actually comes with the bike. And unfortunately, uh, my sea level where I'm at, I'm 300 feet above sea level, so everybody's is going to be slightly different. Um, even the jet that was in the bike, the way it came, everything was way too rich. And I know the the like the talk online is everything that comes from China is going to come lean, but in my case, it was not. It was actually rich. So I had to go on the internet and I bought uh, this. It was like 12 bucks. Essentially, this is a um, a jet kit for a Yamaha 350 Banshee, and all these came for 12 bucks. It was this pack, this pack, and this pack, which do not get used. So, I can't really remember which one came in the bike. I think it was uh, a 40 and a 1... I think it was a 136, and then it was a 40 idle jet. So what I ended up finding out was that a 135 main is perfect, a 38 idle jet is perfect, and your needle setting, if you start from the middle, you're going to want to put your C-clip one clip up from the middle. Now, once you do that, she'll run good, depending on what your, you know, your your level above sea level is i didn't know this because everything's in metric units but i thought it was 1.1 quarts but it's actually 1.7 so if you put oil in it make sure um make sure you buy this because this is something i didn't know because they're wet clutches there's a specific oil called jaso ma2 10w40 and essentially what that is is it means it's, it's okay for a wet clutch application if i were to put regular synthetic in there it would probably you know not be good for the uh the the wet clutch system now i have been kind of hesitant to make a review on this bike only because i wanted to get some hours and some miles on it um my goal was to actually turn this thing into a street legal machine so that was actually what i've been doing over the last three months i've been riding it so on and so forth i've actually bought two other foilers to wear um, my girlfriend's kids, they can ride to where we can all do it as a family. So now I've got two full wheelers outside and I got to bike for myself. Um, if you are looking for a trail machine, this probably isn't it. Um, granted, if you have riding experience, you can handle this. This is kind of like a 250R, uh, or like a baby brother to a 450. I used to have a 450 back in the day, and this is nowhere near the power of a 450, but it's manageable and extremely fun. Um, yes, it is a Chinese dirt bike, but don't hate on that too bad. Um, it's really a KTM. If we come over here, let me see somewhere under here. Let's see if I can show you this. Look right there. KTM 350. So everything about this is a KTM. Um, you know, I guess they, they hold a patent for bikes for like 10 years, and then after that, they get rid of the patent, and then some company decides they're going to copy it. So I think the real only difference is a true KTM bike would use <clears throat> more high-quality steel in the frame. This is probably, you know, low-grade steel or whatever. But 
if if you're not taking it to a track and you just want something to to cruise around on or a fun adrenaline rush trail ride uh you know enduro whatever you want to call it this is really a good bike if you want really a trail machine and you're really looking for a bigger bike um they have like uh they call it a tm31 or a 33 and a 35 and a 36 um, so all those are actually really good models, but they're all air-cooled. So what I got with this, and it's the first bike that I hadn't really thought about it, you know, from a standpoint of this, is because it's liquid-cooled, it doesn't have a fan on it to where you always have to be moving in order for it not to overheat. And I never really thought of it like that. So one of the first upgrades I did on this bike <clears throat> was, went online, got me a Tusk. Um, this is a temperature gauge, but it's actually part of the fan system. So I basically just ordered a, it was 109 bucks, a fan for the KTM 350 and I put it on. It was, you know, it took me about an hour and ran the wires and, and everything does good. You basically just go in here, you can set it for, it can come on at 130 or you can set it on at 150 or 180 all the way up to like 300 degrees, which no one would ever allow that. Um, but yeah, so I put a fan kit on it. Second thing I put on it was an hour meter. So I put the hour meter on, I don't know, probably a month after I got it. So it probably has maybe five hours on it right now. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I know one future upgrade that I really want to do is I want to put a DID chain on it and upgrade the sprockets. Um, from other videos I've watched on this bike, uh, like a DRZ um, 400 front sprocket will work. And I think all of the back is actually like a Honda CRF 250. Like the whole swing arm is identical to a Honda. And the same for the front forks. They said if you ever bend the front fork, you can just put Honda front forks in it and everything just matches right on up. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, mainly it was the carburetor that, that is the, the big issue on getting that, you know, tuned exactly right. Um, the kind of cool thing is all you really got to do is just loosen the... Uh, the clamp here and you can turn the carburetor and then you can take the bowl off and actually you don't have to take the carb off of the bike so that's pretty cool um i went ahead and i ordered a chain guard here because i have had a chain break and break my case before so i know that was important and i decided to buy a little clutch cable support that way the little tab a piece of metal that they originally had here they said you know you can hang it or it can bend or break whatever it is so you know it was like I don't know, 15 bucks, and it looks cool, so decided to put that on there. But um, the last thing I put on was a street legal kit. So I actually have my mirrors, and I have my horn, and my turn signals. So these are really cool. I wanted to give these guys a shout out. So if you want to make a uh, dirt bike street legal, check out Street OHV. I found this kit on Facebook of all places. And they've got these cool little wraparound LEDs that are on the fork. So if we turn this on, we will press the red button. And then check this out. So they're illuminated. So you actually have a little bit of uh, light given to you. And if we come over here, we'll turn the turn signal on. Look how it kind of spreads apart. That is so cool. It just doesn't blink. And we come over here and do this side. And then... So they didn't send me this. I sent uh, a message to um, Moto Buys, is the company I bought it from, M-O-T-O-B-U-Y-S. And I said, hey, my bike didn't come with a light. Boom, they sent me one in the mail, didn't even ask any questions, didn't even send me a bill for it. So if we turn this on, we have a really good bright headlight. So that is cool. I'm excited about that. And what I did here, there was a LED light that came with the back. I put it on and I broke it in five minutes. The mud hit it and it just tore it to crap. So I went online, I found these cool little um, aluminum button lights. These are red and these are turn signals. So check these out. So we turn our turn signal on and we'll pop that one on on that side. So I'm all legal there. Oh, let me get here, so this is my brakes. So that's really cool. And when you check out the uh, the website, they send you these little things. I told them that I had a Chinese bike. I didn't know which one. And they sent me both of them, which is cool. So I didn't even have to buy an extra one. 
I went the extra mile and I bought the kit that came with the headlights. I haven't used them, <clears throat> but <clears throat> they're here if I need to. But um, but yeah, that's about it for this bike, man. It is flat out awesome. So if anybody wants to buy a bike and doesn't want to spend seventy five hundred dollars, because that's what they are. I went to the dealership. They wanted seventy four ninety seven out the door, but it had a fifty seven hundred dollar price tag on it. So by the time they add all their bull crap to it, it comes up being in the mid sevens. I had this shipped to my shop for $3,697. That was shipping and everything, and I bought it right before Christmas when they had a sale. So all I had to do was slip the front forks in and put the front axle in and put the wheel on, and uh, it was ready to go, basically. Just had to put, you know, put some fluids in it and tinker with it here and there. But it fired right up. Like As soon as I put gas in it, she fired right up. So let's do this. Let's uh, go ahead and we will raise the choke. Okay, choke is on. Let's go ahead now and try to start this thing. Do, 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 do. Let's do it. yeah this thing if anybody's like questioning it they also have like i think it's like the egl 300 i think they're all pretty much the same they, they use the same engine but the frame on the egl is like a copycat to the crf 250 which is all an aluminum frame and so if anybody's questioning this thing don't even don't even question it man just just go ahead and pull the trigger I'm very happy with it. Uh, the The reliability of it is definitely there. So, I think my neighbors are home. But yeah. <clears throat> well, hope you all enjoyed that video. I know it's a lot different than my other ones. But uh, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you, if you like the content or if you like dirt bikes. And uh, if you have any questions, shoot them in the comments. And I'll feel free to answer anybody who has any, uh, any questions. See you all later.